We begin with news that up to 50% of junior doctors across the country did not show up for work today. This resulted in chaos at most public health facilities. Cody and Barrett will have that report later. But first, Health Minister Dr. Christopher Tufton is expressing surprise at the industrial action. The island-wide sick-out by doctors saw up to 50% of the medical practitioners calling in sick on Thursday. It was followed by a strongly worded press release from the Jamaica Medical Doctors Association, JMDA, titled, Yesterday, Heroes. Today, Disposable. But Health Minister Dr. Christopher Tufton is questioning the reason for the action. Because, frankly speaking, we are still in some uncertainties as to what the position of the doctors are. The JMDA press release listed the issues that have left the JMDA members disgruntled. Chief among them, what it calls a pattern of eroding the doctor's employment standards by issuing shorter contracts, down from three years to now as short as six months. According to Dr. Tufton, he was part of a meeting on Tuesday where three main issues were raised. Gratuity, dating back to 2014, new contracts for some 140 senior house officers. The other are issues around six-month contract, which had a lot of uncertainty with the regions having differing accounts as to whether or not these contracts exist generally and whether or not they are in fact in breach of the heads of agreement. And the decision there was for a discussion to take place um, to reconcile the differences, at which point decisions would be made. The doctor's contracts expired at the end of June. Despite several meetings over the past few weeks, the JMDA and the Ministry of Health can't seem to come up with an agreement. Nonetheless, Dr. Tufton says another meeting will be held Thursday evening in an effort to stem the chaos experienced Thursday morning. We have a position clearly, but that position ought to be discussed. And I would certainly encourage the doctors to let us sit at the table to have a conversation. If we can't resolve it, then it is triggered up to another level because a lot of these decisions are not just up to public health. Some of these decisions have budgetary implications, budgets that have to be planned for 